Hi there, it's Mr. Clark. Welcome to Lesson 2.5.4 on Neighbor Tones and Passing Tones. So, in the ear tunes that we've been working on, um, the one ear tune project we've done so far, actually, um, in major, we've talked about how if you have scale degrees 1, 3, or 5, sorry, 1, 3, or 5 in the melody, then that goes with a 1 chord, a tonic chord, if you have scale degrees 5, step, 2, or 4, four in your melody, then that's going to go with a 5, 7 chord, or a dominant chord. Um, and if you have any of these notes in the melody, then they're known as chord tones, because they fit in the chord. However, there may be melody notes that don't fit in the chord, um, and that is what we would call a non-chord tone, or NCT for short. So there are two specific types of non-chord tones we're going to take a look at today. The first is a neighbor tone, and a neighbor tone figure has to consist of three notes. So this is what one sounds like. So what's going on there? We start on scale degree 5, which is a chord tone. We move by step to scale degree 6, which is not a chord tone. And then we go back to scale degree 5, which is a chord tone. So the first and the third notes have to be the same. The second one has to be moving by step. This is like, hey, I live at home. I go one door down to visit my neighbor, and then I come back home. That's why it's called a neighbor tone. Um, so in order to label a neighbor tone, you would circle it and write N. Couldn't figure out how to do circles. If you're doing this by hand, I would recommend just like doing something like that. You don't need to do a fancy box, but you can. Um, so here, first one, you have a five, seven chord. That's a special sound. Okay. There we go. This next example, letter B, we have a chromatic neighbor tone. Um, so you have something that's not in the key. Come on. That can give you a special sort of sound. Uh, note in letter C here that we have an example where two isn't actually, scale degree two isn't actually written down here in the chord. But 2 is part of a 5-7 chord, so that still counts as a chord tone, even though it's not physically present in what is written. No, stop. There we go. And then our last example. All right. This is annoying. Um... Here we have the other kind of non-chord tone that we're going to talk about, the passing tone. So the idea with the passing tone is you start on a chord tone, move by step to a non-chord tone, and then move by step in the same direction to a chord tone. So this passes down, start on a chord tone, end on a chord tone, something in the middle. Um, so here we're in B flat, our one chord. So three is a chord tone, one is a chord tone. Two is not. Three, two, one. So here are some examples. Again, you'll circle it and write P. So a couple examples here. That five, seven chord. Four, three, two. Three, three, sure, five. Note that we still call this sharp 4, even though it's a natural. The sharp just means we're raising it a half step from what it would normally be. It would normally be an E flat. We raise it a half step to E natural. Uh, our 5 7 chord. So, all of these non chord tone figures, all two of them that we looked at, neighbor tone and passing tone, Start on a chord tone, move by step to a non-chord tone, move by step to a chord tone. The only difference is a neighbor tone goes back where it started, and the passing tone keeps going in the same direction, whether that's down or up. 
that is what I have for now. I will go ahead and see you next time.